All right, so we have a $1,000 hype box right here. I don't know what this is all about going on right here, but yeah, stay tuned. Gonna get right into it. I'm hyped. It's actually pretty heavy too. Maybe then I can focus. Hawaii touchdown. Go ahead, baby, put your shades on. East side, east side to the gray stone. Aloha, YouTube. What is up? Untied Hawaii here, back again with your new favorite series, this hype box series. This hype box comes to us from soulsteals.com. Soulsteals is actually, I'm gonna put this down. Soulsteals is actually a membership website. You have to pay $19.99 a month to gain access to the website, but there's actually a lot of good steals on there. Soul Steals, steals, yeah. Steals is in shoes, so you get a lot of shoes under market value. You can also buy these things called hype boxes. And if you guys are new to the channel, hype boxes are basically boxes that have a whole bunch of mystery hype beast items, Supreme, Bape, ASSC, a bunch of shoes, Yeezys, things like that. So you really don't know what you're gonna get. You are able to pick your sizes though, which is dope. So you have some control in that sense, but everything else is a complete mystery. So that's what makes it fun. That's why I open these things. And yeah, this one is a thousand dollar box. I'm stoked, so let's get right into it. Do not open with sharp objects. So sharp, and we're just gonna break all the rules today because you already know your boy is a rule breaker. I'm gonna be careful with this. Don't tell anybody, guys. We broke the rules. Anyway, thousand. You guys ready? Let's do it. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Nice. So let's see what we got. This first one, I'm thinking it's a duffel bag because it's huge and it is. This is the Supreme 2018 duffel bag. This thing just came out like at the start of the season. Pretty cool because actually like the straps say Supreme all over it. So both sides like that, which makes it kind of pop a lot more in my opinion. Last year's duffel bag, it wasn't as good. This one looks a lot better. Yeah, good first item. I'm not sure what resale is on this, but I know it's pretty good. And honestly, I could probably use a duffel bag. So we'll see about keeping this one. <laughs> oh man, we got a lot of interesting stuff in here, man. <laughs> Okay, next thing out, oof, interesting. We got the Arabic Supreme Mask. I've seen these things before. I, I'm not a big fan of this stuff, man. Because <laughs> there's just really no reason for me to wear this, you know? Like, it's very hypebeast. It's supposed to, like, literally be a mask that goes over your mouth like that. So, black colorway, though, really easy to move. This came out just last season, so good piece. Whoa, what is this? Supreme Pack Light Nova USB Solar Collapsible LED Lantern. I've never actually seen this one before. What do you do here? Oh, okay, okay. Wait, nope, I still don't know what it does. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what this is, guys. It's some kind of Supreme solar thing, though. But I guess since I live in Hawaii, it'd be pretty cool. Collapsible LED Lantern. So, yeah, it folds up into, like, a box or something. And solar powered. This came out just this season, too. I don't remember this one dropping. Must not be that hyped. So pretty cool though. Moving on, next piece we got is a bape piece. All right, some bape shorts. It says bathing ape over there, and that's pretty much it. So <laughs> it's just some plain green bape shorts. What the? This thing went for $280. This, this is $280. You gotta be kidding me. See, look, I'll never understand hype beast stuff, man. Like, I would never pay 280 bucks for this. I mean, technically I did pay 280 for it because I bought it in a mystery box, but it's it's not valued at 280, I'm assuming. Next piece out, looks like a plain Supreme shirt here, I think. <laughs> okay, interesting. So this is a Supreme, you can see right here, it's a long sleeve. And on the back, you can see that Araki print. Kind of interesting, it's, it's an interesting take, that flower right there. But yeah, this is interesting, so I gotta check on how well this one does in terms of resale and whatnot. I'm guessing not too well though, could be completely wrong. All right, so next thing in here is a Playboy Hood Large. Is this a Supreme piece? I don't know what this is. So you can see that Playboy bunny on there and I guess it's a hoodie. I don't, what is this? I'm not opening it up because I'm not too sure, but I'll do my research and I'll post whatever it is actually on screen over here. Next thing out is a Cause Companion in the Open Edition. So yeah, I actually have this one somewhere as well. I'm not too sure where it is, but yeah. This is a duplicate piece, so I'll be putting this on the web store. Cause pieces really don't go for as much money as they used to if they're open editions. You can basically get whatever it was for retail and then maybe, uh, depending on which piece it is, maybe like 50 bucks over, $100 over, depending on who the buyer is. So these aren't bad. Um, retail is like 200 something bucks, so it's expensive for technically what is supposed to be a toy per se, but 
honestly these things are like collectibles and that's what you're supposed to do with them is like collect and then like display them like art or whatever in the back so that's cool all right and the last thing in this box is we have a pair of shoes in here. Let's take a look. It is a Jordan 1 box, so that is dope. Uh, this one is in a size 11. So this is a pair of the Jordan 1 gold toes, which I actually have right back there. I think mine is in a size 11 as well, but this is a nice shoe, guys. The Jordan 1 gold toe, you can see right here. Uh, if it was the Jordan 1 top three, it would be alternating on the toe boxes, but that is the giveaway that it is the gold toe. So these are cool. Honestly, think that the resale value of these are going to go up over time just because it's like a pretty nice colorway. I've actually been hearing rumors though that they're releasing one that's made out of leather. So it's kind of same goldish vibes, but it's gonna be more like a mustard gold apparently. So you guys should look that up if you guys are interested. I'm super stoked on that because these obviously they crease like really easy over the top if you wear them once. So that's the downfall of it. This box was interesting, man, not gonna lie. We got cause pieces, which is an accessory. We got Supreme accessories. We got the Supreme mask. The diversity is really dope. I like that you can basically throw together an entire outfit. <laughs> it's, it's mystery items. So I mean, obviously like you don't want to be matching green vape shorts with your pink playboy hoodie i'm not gonna wear this it's an interesting concept where you get a whole bunch of different stuff and honestly like if you don't like some of the pieces which some of them i don't like some of them i do like you can keep some or you could resell some make some money because that's what these boxes are about typically i think the margins have been about 15 to 20 percent you'll make back so if you spend a thousand dollars you should be making somewhere about $200 in terms of resale value. So that's cool. That's if you sell everything, obviously. And that's why I keep coming back to these hype boxes because they're really dope and really fun. So let me know what you guys think about the box in the comments below. My own personal feelings for this one, I'm not really feeling it at all. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Bape shorts, really hard to move item probably. I mean, it's really hard to just find the item itself in order to price it. Like on eBay, I'm like literally looking up green bape sweat shorts and hoping that that image pops up somewhere so I can have some place to, you know, like find the price and find the median for it. ASSC Playboy hoodie. Just my thing is that ASSC has been going downhill as well. So that might be a harder to move item as well. So we got to see. I myself, I'm not huge on that, but we got to see. I mean, maybe there is value to be made. I mean, the counter shows that there's some, but it's, it's not looking like it's a super hyped up box. You know what I mean? So that's how that goes. Let me know what you guys think of the hype box in the comments below. I'm not sure how many of you guys are Soul Steel's members yet, but just know these boxes are really hard to cop. So it's not a guaranteed every single week. What you are guaranteed though, is you get a whole bunch of shoes that are like really, I would say like 15 to 20% under competitive market value sometimes, which is really good. So in terms of that, I think it's worth it. So be sure to check it out. I think you guys can see a whole bunch of sneak previews on site and stuff. And obviously you guys can see what the hype boxes look like by just watching these videos so hope you guys learned something hope you guys like the boxes until next time though take care stay humble stay blessed guys i'll see you aloha shoots